Hi there, it's Alexia Hupin. Welcome to Wine by Alex, the show to watch to take your wine game to the next level. Today, you're watching a brand new episode of Ask Wine by Alex. And I want to cover something I think is really important to start learning about wine. Have you ever wondered how the vines grow each year? How they produce grapes that will become wine? Well, today I'll get you through the seven stages of the vine growth cycle. Each year, the vine goes through the exact same cycle to produce grapes. Well, it's not exactly the exact same cycle. In fact, amount of heat, sunlight, water and nutrients, which are the key resources of this cycle, are not the same every year. Therefore, the vine growth can vary year on year. Stage 1. Dormancy. With temperatures too cold for the vine to grow, it enters dormancy in winter. It typically occurs between November and March in the Northern Hemisphere and between May and September in the Southern Hemisphere. Dormancy is the period during which vines use their carbohydrate stock to support themselves. Winter pruning is pr practiced at that time. Temperatures can become very low in some areas like Canada and severely damage or kill the vines. Stage 2 is bud burst. Dormancy ends at bud burst, typically in March-April in the Northern Hemisphere and September-October in the Southern Hemisphere. In spring, temperatures start to rise, enabling buds to swell and open. Then shoots emerge from them. Bud break occurs early or late according to the grape varieties as well. Some need lower temperatures than others. The main risk during bud burst is spring frost. It can damage the buds when they are opening. Stage 3 is shoot and leaf growth. Between March and July in the Northern Hemisphere and between September and January in the Southern Hemisphere, shoots continue to grow. Leaves and clusters of flowers develop. Vines use carbohydrates to do so. They also need warmth and sunlight so that photosynthesis can happen and leaves keep providing energy so the vines can keep on growing. Stage 4 is flowering and fruit set. Alongside shoot and leaf growth, flowering and fruit set happen in May-June in the Northern Hemisphere and November-December in the Southern Hemisphere. Around 8 weeks after bud burst, flowering is when individual flowers open within an inflorescence and pollen fertilize the egg through what's called pollination. It leads to the transformation of flowers into grapes which is also called fruit set. During these stages, conditions need to be warm, dry, and not windy so that everything happens properly. Stage five is grape development. After fruit set, grapes develop from June to October in the Northern Hemisphere and from December to April in the Southern Hemisphere. At the beginning, they are very small, hard and green. They have low sugar, high acids, and unripe aromas and tannins. They start to grow in size up until Veraison, which triggers the ripening process. At Veraison, grape skin becomes more soft and stretchy, and grape colors change from green to golden for white varieties to red for black varieties. Once this is complete, ripening starts. It's the most important process to determine final quality and style. A lot of things happen. Grapes grow quickly due to water accumulation, sugars increase, and acids decrease. It's also the moment when aromas develop and tannins lose their bitterness. Stage 6 is harvest. Harvest can take place when grapes reach the adequate ripeness to produce the wine style that the producer wants to make. Levels of sugar, which will become alcohol through vinification, and acids need to be perfectly balanced. Tannins and aroma need to be fully developed, Therefore, the date of harvest is a crucial moment in the final style and quality of the wine. You don't want to end up with a wine that's not balanced to offer your consumers. That's why producers analyze each component daily to make sure they pick the grapes at the exact right time. Harvest used to happen in October, but recently I saw some producers in the south of France finishing harvest mid-August, which is crazy. Stage 7 is leaf fall and dormancy. So after harvest is finished, leaves fall and the shoots become rigid and woody. Then the vines enter their dormant period again until the next cycle in the following spring. 
Well, that's all for today. I hope this captivated you as much as me. And I would love to hear from you. What impact do you think climate change has on this cycle? Do you have any examples that come in mind that you want to share? Did you like this video? If so, please subscribe and share this with your friends. If you want more awesome resources to take your wine game to the next level, come on over to winebyalex.com and make sure you get in the loop of my weekly email updates. Thank you so much for watching this episode and I'll see you soon on Ask Wine by Alex. Cheers!